Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Good morning everybody, good morning and welcome to John on a Bike Welcome to a pretty decent day actually, it's not bad It's not really warm, hence why I've got long sleeve top on Got my shorts on though, got my shorts on but long sleeve top um, it's about 15 degrees, something like that, 15, 16 degrees, but hopefully you're not going to rain. Last time I'm on the mountain bike, and last time I came on the mountain bike, well, the last two times I came on the bike, mountain bike, I got drenched. <laughs> it, took, it took ages just for my helmet to dry out. Everything was just soaking, so I'm um, hopefully in the air, it's, it's going to be alright, it's going to be fine. I knew, actually, I knew I went on the road bike today, I debated it, but I thought, a bit breezy, not, not fantastic weather, I just got on the mountain bike. So hopefully I'm going to do 50 miles a day on the mountain bike. Yeah, it's going to be a 50 mile ride because I was going to do 50 miles on the road bike. So I thought, no, instead I'll do 50 miles on the mountain bike. I mean, I do come out on the mountain bike um, even when it's nice. You know, it's not. I don't have to just go on the road bike when it's nice. But uh, because I only use the road bike when it's nice, when we do get good weather, I try to use it as much as possible. Because obviously I use the mountain bike, you know, usually through the winter and stuff as well. So. Well, I do most most of them most of the time through the winter these days because the windows are milder than what they used to be. I think they are wetter, definitely wet, but you don't get the snow and stuff like you used to years ago. Because once over, it gets so difficult to come out on the lines and tracks and things like these. They used to get all iced up and snow on them and stuff because obviously they don't get cleared. You know they don't get cleared like the roads do. Um, so it just used to come a bit, get a bit silly trying to come out. So. Just didn't bother. So yeah, so when the weather's good, I like to use the road bike and occasionally on the mountain bike. So another reason, apart from the weather, that I came on the mountain bike uh, was um, roadworks. Oh, roadworks are on German at the moment. They're terrible. They're all over the place. Literally every road you go on, there's roadworks. So that was another reason I came on the lines just to avoid them. Speaking of roadworks, uh, roadworks, there's some. Uh, potholes and things that have been there for a while now nah, I thought you know I'm gonna report them one pothole that I reported before hadn't really been done properly um, they just kind of threw a bit of tar in so I reported that one again and another one was like a trench along the road and given the Jew it came out and they did the trench one very quick very quick it was done within a couple of days and the other one which I reported in the past it's all marked up to be done properly they said they were gonna do it and it's all been marked you can see and it looks like they're going to do it properly this time rather than just throw bits of tar in. So, nice one. Credit to Durham County Council. Thank you very much. Credit where it's due and all that. So, yeah, councils get some stick, but sometimes they do good. And to be honest with you, Durham County Council are very good. When you report potholes and that, they tend to be out very quick. I've reported potholes to Durham County Council, um, and they've been out the next morning. I kid you not. I reported one on my uh, road bike. Went out the next morning and there was the lad with the van marking it all up. So I thanked them and later that day I think it was, it was fixed, so nice one. So I'm heading along the bottom here, as you can see, towards Langley Parkway along the lines. Bit of a breeze up. As you can see by the trees blowing around and stuff, you probably hear it on the microphones. This is one of the reasons I didn't go on the road, the wind. I hate being on the road where it's windy. <laughs> There's a lot of nettles around, a lot of foliage growing like crazy because of the, all the water and the tiny bit of sunshine we've had. But the other day I had my leggings on, hit a nettle, and it went through my flaming leggings. I couldn't believe it. And it bloody hurt. God, some really strong nettles around. So I'm just heading up this little hill here which leads from that farm down the bottom and up towards concert area. It's just getting warmer, I think. 15 degrees in the moment. But the sun's got some kick. But still, as you can see, the wind here is quite breezy. If you look how narrow this is up here, this is all because of the uh, old man's backy growing. Look how long it is. Oh, the cow parsley is proper near me. It's mad, isn't it, really, how it changes? 
the truck to the season. And the season obviously is quite wide open. But tell what though, it's not muddy today. Hey! Fantastic. The last couple of times I've been out on the on the lines has just been well a mud bath. I was having to clean my chain off and the bike had been all washed down each time I took it out. Like what when I got back should say. Yeah, so makes a nice change. You know this annoys me when people do this. Dogs left while they walk up ahead. I mean luckily, it's a friendly dog, but you know. Pretty responsible release me. She had headphones on, walking miles ahead, and the dog just wondering where it wanted it. There you go. Well, I'm having a rant. Has anybody else noticed when you go on a track like this, and you see people coming towards you, and they see you, and you choose what side you want to go on, you think, well, they're on the left, I'll go on the right, sorted. And then you pedal up, you get really close to them, and suddenly they swap sides and go on your side. Is this just me or does anybody else notice that? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I don't know. People are just trying to be funny, trying to be clever, or are they just absentmindedly just crossing over the path at the last minute for no reason? I can't get my head around why people do. Not everybody does it. Not everybody who went past people back there, there's about three of them. I looked, they saw me. I thought, yep, we're well, on that side, that's fair enough. I'll go on this side. Got really close to them, had my head down, glanced up, and there they were on my side. What's that about? What's that about, eh? Yeah. Rant over, eh? Yeah. Rant over. Well, actually not quite, because I did something quite childish actually, further back. I was stopped at the side, and, a lad came up, well, a young, young man come, come up, went past us on his bike, spoke, hello, you know, just trying to be friendly, it's completely blankness. Fair enough, you know, happens. I don't understand why people do it, but it happens. But then further up, there's a few groups of people, say like two women walking up, and he never excused himself to go past them, he never said nothing to them, never rang a bell, nothing, just barged through the middle of them. Then he knocked them over. The women were like, whoa, what's going on, sort of thing. So I thought, well, that's it. So I'm not having that. So I had to go past them. I don't want my people to go past me. I don't tend to go past them, you know, if, unless they're going slower than me or, you know, but I don't race people or anything like that. But he, yeah, he asked for it. I had to go past them. And of course, I never spoke to me there. <laughs> I didn't too, too happy they weren't passing, to be honest with you. But I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, no, it was very childish. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't the fact you hadn't spoken to us originally. Kind of like, well, that's just where some people are. It was the fact of then, he was just bulldozing through people. You know, like you own the place. So I thought, yeah, that'd teach him a lesson. <laughs> the thing is, if you don't have a bell when you're on the lines, it must be very hard, because, uh, there's loads of people about, loads of people walking, dog walkers. I don't know how you manage. In fact, he didn't just not have a bell, he didn't speak neither. But if you're going to barge through people, it's going to be a very difficult ride, isn't it? When you bike and you're going to get people's backs up. And then them same people, when the rest of us go by, they'll be giving us grief. A bit of weird, aren't they? A bit of strange. So, I'm gonna fire off concert and then I'll be heading down towards well Anfield Plain way first, Stanley, and then down past Beamish towards Chessy Street. So normally when I go up towards uh, Anfield Plain Stanley Way, I go up a road over that way, a track over that way I should say. But I'm going around this way, which is the way I usually go around when I just come to the concert. The reason I'm doing that for, the reason I'm doing that for is because that little path up there can get very busy with walkers and dog walkers and stuff, so this way 
It's usually a bit better. <laughs> you've got to cross over a roundabout and that up this way, but at least you can avoid some people. Because today, it's busy, 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 like I thought it would be. Lots of folks about. Don't believe them. Nice weather. So just up here, there's a roundabout here, cross over. It's not too bad, really. Did you get a chance to get across this when the cars all stop? And then around the other side, and then on towards Anfield Plain. So I'm just heading down from the concert now. Pretty muddy actually, I thought it would be. But uh, still more muddy than I actually thought it would be. You know, I thought there would be some mud. But I said big stretches of puddles and mud and stuff. Fields look pretty there, don't they? Little meadows and that going on here. All the wild flowers and stuff, which is nice. So you can probably hear I'm close to the road here and I'm soon going to be crossing over in a pretty busy roundabout. But as I said before on previous rides, people usually let us across actually. People are pretty good. Yeah, because they're slowing down for the roundabout anyway and they tend to let you cross, so I hope it'll be the case today again. Eh? Well, that was the first. <laughs> nobody let us across because there was nobody there. The roundabout was deserted. I've never come to the roundabout when it's been quiet like that. Just a lull in the traffic, yeah, but that was. That was quite jammy, that was. I don't know if you here on the camera here, but I've got the wind in my face at the moment, going this way. Um, but that's fine, it's all, a lot of it's downhill. At least when I come off from Chester Street, which is uphill, I'll have the wind behind us, hopefully, so that's all good. This is where the route goes, beside houses and next to housing estates and things. Which I've said before, it's kind of weird, kind of strange. For a main cycle route like this, which is of course part of the coast to coast, it's kind of weird that you end up going down beside houses and and uh, next to back gardens and that kind of thing. It looks it's just weird. I think it's weird anyway. So I mean, you get like bits like this where it's just like paths basically down behind the gardens. I mean, I get it. I know why, obviously why, because obviously the railway line finished and then they've just obviously took the railway line open. Some parts are still like wide open where the old railway line is and other parts like this. They've just made it the footpaths beside houses. I'm not knocking it, you know, it's still a decent trail. I just think it's kind of funny how a main coast to coast route ends up going beside people's gardens like this. Could be a bit risky for getting nettled, I think. A bit narrow down here. <laughs> it's always narrow down here, but it's even more so because of was obviously all the plants are growing and the nettles, as you can see on the left and right here. Ooh, <laughs> dodgy. I don't know if it's like we've got some kind of mute nettles this year or whatever, but we're in one in the garden as well. And I just brushed my hand past it. Oh, I didn't have sting. Really hurt. Had to get the uh, duck leaves out. The, the old remedy there, get the duck leaves. But uh, yeah, it was really, really painful. And the one I said the other day went through my legs and stung us. And again, I found a duck leaf, which is sometimes not easy to find actually. Yeah, I managed to subdue the pain a bit with that. Either side here, all the way down here. You want to brush up against them, do I? No, 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 no. As you can see, it's still quite muddy places it hasn't rained for a few days but obviously the ground's just so saturated now we've still got lots of puddles and clots and mud everywhere by the way clots is a local nickname for the mud <laughs> which is why I'm saying mud and clots because I realise you probably wouldn't sound what clots are it's a northeast term for mud
from Chester Street Park, as you can see in the distance here, very popular. Sad there, it's a nice deer. It's always very popular this park. So I'm gonna have five minutes rest here once I start hic hic hiccuping. <laughs> if I can say the word, once I stop hiccuping, I'm gonna have five minutes rest here and then uh, head up the side of the Jewel Carriageway back up towards uh, Durham area. So yeah, people we'll enjoying the nice weather, which is nice to see, isn't it? Because I've had some rubbishy weather recently, I tell you. Loads of rain and stuff, so it's nice to see. Nice to see. I say, tomorrow's supposed to be nice, supposed to be even warmer, 19, it's about what, 15 today, 16. Tomorrow's supposed to be 19, I feel like 19 with a westerly wind, and then I think Monday's supposed to be nice, so I'll see, maybe I get on the road back on Monday. And then next week's supposed to go big, big pants again, so yeah, make the most of the weight, kind of. Yeah, because it doesn't last long around here, unfortunately. So I'm on the way back up now, beside the Jill Crash, as you can see. Yeah, as, here, as you can probably hear from all the noise. And uh, got the wind behind us, so it's nice. Got the wind behind us, way. <laughs> it's about the wind facing my face most of the time, but to be fair, it doesn't make too bad because I've been protected by the the trees and stuff, which is good. Which is the good thing about being on the lines, being on the mountain bike. But now I'm heading back up this side of the road here, and it's all right because it blows the wrong direction down here. It's not very pleasant because it's slight uphill. It's about four percent, three four percent uphill. And you've got the wind in your face. It's not pleasant. But today, today it's all right. Good pollution when you use the bus. Oh, use a bike, eh? <laughs> use the bike, yeah, you have to use the bus. But um, this track at the side of here, of this uh, dual carriageway, it's good. It's nice and pleasant. I know it's noisy, as you can hear, but I'm away from the cars. I'm at the side of the car, so I can ignore them. It's just a racket, really. But uh, it's really nice when the sun's out like this and the wind's behind you. It's lovely, very nice. Cross around about the top and then back along under the beside, under the main road, or another path like this. I'm coming past, going along the beside, another busy road again. This one here this time. But again, I'm not on the road, I'm off the road, thankfully. But yeah, pretty busy road as you can hear, but it won't be long now before I'm off this road. That's out of way then. <laughs> but uh, yeah, going down here, and then I'll be crossing another roundabout, and then again off the road, and then back onto the lines again, or the tracks again. It's warm, mate, it's very warm. I've got a top on underneath here actually. I put two tops on because I wasn't sure how warm it was going to be. Um, in the earlier on it was pretty chilly but it's getting warmer and warmer so I think I might end up taking this top top off. Might end up stripping off a bit. So while avoiding walkers coming down there, dog walkers, I've nettled myself on my finger just as I was on about before. One of these vicious nettles that will go around at the moment. So I'm going to get a duck leaf here and uh, rub it up against my finger and that should fix it. Don't have to even tear the leaf off. I'll just rub it against it and that'll help it. Good old remedies are the best, aren't they, yeah? <laughs> it was too warm, too warm. Stripped off, look. <laughs> I've got my uh, snazzy uh, kit on from Victory Pig. If you saw that review I did of it, pretty snazzy, isn't it? Pretty snazzy. Yeah, it was just a bit getting a bit too warm for that top one. So I thought it's having to cool down a bit. So I'm nearly home now. 47.9, by the time we get back, it's going to be 50 miles. And it's been a good ride. It's been a good ride. And it got warmer and warmer, as you can see, stripped off on the way around. Still seeing only 13 on the crew, but it's warm than that. It's the weather, the winds change the direction because tomorrow is supposed to be like 19 tomorrow. So maybe it's that warmer air is coming in, but not complaining. It's been a good ride, really enjoyed it. Always some more mud look. So I mean, part of the muddy and wet still around. 
go slow, I don't want to get me posh kit all dirty. But yeah, it's been a good ride, thoroughly enjoyed it. And as always, thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you all later. Take care out there. See you later. Bye bye.